In this lesson I'm going to show you how to make these Creole earrings. The good thing about this style of earring is that there's no earring back to lose. It's all in one. Hinge and catch. Now you can make any style of earring body that you want but the main objective of this lesson is to make the hinge and catch for the earrings. To around about one millimeter thick and that will obviously spread the width a little bit as well and start twisting. Tight twist on it, it's getting quite tough now because it hardens up as you do this. Because these earrings are going to form it around the mandrel, it has to go around twice obviously. And I've got And again you can just check to see if you want them any bigger and just push them up here. Mandrel if so. And I've got all my bits and pieces ready to put together now and I've got the round wire to 1.1 mil and flat one is at 0.7 the hinge as well so I'll make sure I've got more than I need I need that times two that's more than I need chop what I've got left in half these strips just start bending it making sure you keep it nice and straight so if you get it wrong if the if it starts angling off just put the other part of the catch inside just to make sure it closes nice and parallel like that so it should look like that <laughs> hinge as well without going too close to the inside there. So now I'll set the components up and what I'm finding is where the hinge goes especially on this one it needs raising a little bit partly because the earrings not perfectly flat yet and the best way to do that I find is to find something really thin to lay it on and that will lift it and a scalpel blade is ideal because the solder is not going to run on it I'll just put this one back where it was before I do that I'll just put the solder on and it's going to just then run on the joint Okay, now that that's done, I'll just check to make sure it's lined up properly. So the hinge looks as though it's lined up. I'll just flux the end around about 3 or 4 mil. Put a nice sharp flame right on the tip of the wire and just let it boil up a little bit. You don't need a big ball. If it gets too big then it will drop off, so just be wary of that. Trim it down a little bit more later. later. Hammer out the ball and also the stem as well. It'll get quite hard, so I'm going to shape the earring and then finish off the end here. Now, there's enough length there so that I can use um, that part for the pin going through the hinge. So.
You can see that'll work quite well. Art circle is there. Put a little divot there and then match it up the other side. Just where the plate there meets the earring. And you don't risk drilling straight through because you might come out slightly off. So go through one way and then the other and then allow your drill to go right through like that. And it should be square. Now it's a little bit off there. Which doesn't matter because this the hole is slightly smaller than the pin that I've drawn down, so I can open it up and move it around a little bit. I'll do this one. What I'll do is I'm just going to put a little mark with my drill, and you need to make sure that if you drill through that, it's not going to break through the end there. Okay, that fits okay, uh, but before I leave the pin in, what I need to do is just countersink the holes on the hinge, and I'm just going to use a smallish ball burr, this is about 1.8mm, and that'll just countersink the outside of the hinge and allow some room for the metal. And now I've got my saw blade in the hole, and I'm just going to cut outwards. You can cut the other way, go down, but there's a chance you'll damage the earring. So. Okay, now that goes in and clicks quite nicely. As I say, I can tighten it up if need be, but I just want to make sure it goes down far enough as well. So just with my taper bit, I'll just take the hole a little bit lower and try that. That's Now I can work on the hinge. So first of all, file the ends of the pin down. So you've got around about half a mil showing either side. I'm going to show you two different ways of riveting and uh, this is the traditional way with a little riveting hammer which is that shape. And make sure you turn it over one way and then the other otherwise you get the rivet head um, large on one side and barely working on the other. So I just, just need to knock that in a little bit at that end and expose a bit more there. cheap easy way of doing it as well so just make sure that you have got exactly the, the same amount of rivet showing on both sides of the hinge a pair of parallel pliers give it a squeeze it doesn't take much especially with silver to get it to stiffen up and that would pretty much be it you wouldn't be able to get those pins out Pin ends have swelled right out. And because you countersunk the outside of the hinge, that metal's squeezed into it, so it's made a really long lasting hinge. So that's pretty much it. So I'll give them a clean up, and then we'll take a look. The snap on this one, or the catch on this one, is a little bit loose, so I'll just tighten it up. And that's just a matter of bringing the top together a fraction more very carefully with your pliers. That's 
working really well now.